हेलो गाइस सो वेलकम टू दी अनदर वीडियो ऑफ दी टेस्टिंग क्लास सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर दी टॉपिक लाइक हाउ मच टेस्टिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड और हाउ मच आई मीन कोडिंग नॉलेज इज रिक्वायर्ड टू डू ऑटोमेशन सो बेसिकली यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड देयर आर मल्टीपल कॉन्सेप्ट्स अवेलेबल इन एनी लैंग्वेज इफ आई पिक जावा इफ आई पिक पाइथन सो देयर आर मल्टीपल कॉन्सेप्ट बट नॉट ऑल कॉन्सेप्ट विल बी यूज्ड इन ऑटोमेशन सो we will be covering like what all things you have to know or you have to understand before starting automation because i have seen there are multiple people uh, who are doing manual testing they want to switch to in automation but they have a fear uh, in writing code but if i talk about automation then only few concept will be used majorly in coding so let's start with those concept first is your oops concept so when i say oops concept there are multiple oops concepts like uh, i mean classes object your polymorphism your abstraction your encapsulation and other so basically how much uh, oops concept are used in automation so basically the classes object polymorphism and inheritance these are majorly used in automation or i mean writing framework there are some other concept like abstraction or encapsulation they might be used but they depends upon your requirement why would i need encapsulation so we have to understand that if if anything that we are hiding or we are i mean uh, we do not want to show our data then we will be using uh, encapsulation other concept so uh, the uh, the polymorphism inheritance classes and object these are the few concept that you have to uh, know second is string string is very uh, important uh, while doing uh, or while writing automation script because everything is i mean you will see everything belongs to string so uh, when i say string there are multiple method uh, of strings are there but oftenly used method are your split your caret method your equals method contains concatenate and ends with index of uh, there are 9 to 10 method that are used majorly in writing your framework or writing automation script on daily basis next is your keywords so few keywords you need to understand or you need to uh, get the details of those those uh, uh, those keywords like static final your access modifier so these are things you have to know and other is list and array like if i am going to store a dynamic data type or dynamic values then what data type i will be picking suppose i have a class uh, which ha- i mean in which class there are 20 students so size is fixed then i will be using array if i am doing an online uh, live session then n number of user will be adding or you will be joining so in that case i will be using list so that are the data type that i will be picking is list so uh, you need to understand like why we are going to pick list why we are going to choose uh, the array so there are multiple uh, method to manipulate or get the data from the list or as well as you, you have to know and next is like uh, the set and hash map so these are again two principle you need to understand like, why i have to use set and uh, i need to use uh, the hash map and uh, again some exception handling thing like if there is any exception how to handle it how to uh, define you user define uh, exception or how to give a message when exception comes so uh, these are the things you do you need to understand and more important thing when you are going to start automating or you are learning automation or any language keep that in mind that you have to attempt or you have to solve one question daily basis so suppose if i mean today is first of a- any month and i'm starting with static so i need to understand this st- concept of static i need to check like how i can implement a static keyword whether in a block whether in a method whether in a class or whether in a variable how can i implement so you need to understand single concept so after 30 days if you look back you will have a knowledge of 30 concept or 30 uh, things in your mind and that is sufficient in doing automation so when i was preparing in back in 2021 november when i was in nokia.com so 
so I start preparing for interview and I, I started doing automation or I started doing coding on daily basis. Like I used to solve a problem on daily basis and after 30 days, I, I, I mean, within three months span, I got eight of a letter. I mean, Accenture, um, I will say Accenture, I will say CoForge, I will say uh, Airtel, Nika, Zeta, Times Internet and uh, Dream 11 and uh, 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 your uh, pyramid, I mean multiple companies. So uh, you have to implement the same in your day-to-day uh, -day basis and you will, uh, I mean, you will be happy to know that after 30 days you will have this amount of knowledge and that is sufficient in doing automation. So thank you. Thank you for watching. And if you have any question, anything related to automation or testing, just ping on the comment section. I will definitely, I will try to answer that question. And thank you for watching the testing class. Happy testing.